Hello again, fellow pawns. I'm Droopy Pawn. This is Droopy Pawn Minecraft 2022 and number 48. And the sun is just coming up. And as you can see, I've taken down the giant tower that was 36 blocks above the top of the drowned farm. And I've built another little glass house right here. And I've just murdered the three phantoms that were phantoming around. And so, I've sat here for, I think, two days in-game, or maybe maybe a day and a night in-game. And I was going to shoot a skeleton from up here and get that achievement. What is it, sniper or something like that? But I guess all the skeletons have gone now. So, I think, let's go down... And go into the nether and see if sitting right here on top made any difference as far as the drown spawns. I know I did see a few drowns when I was, I came down after working on the new glass house on top. And there were a few drowns in here then. Nothing right now though. think that's going to improve my rates. I, I don't know yet, but we're about to find out. So let's run over here and jump in the nether portal and go to the nether in the drown killing room and find out what ha happened. Oh, oh I hear drowned. Oh my goodness. Yep, that definitely has fixed the problem. Let's kill these guys. We have nothing on top right now. Did that. Have a little snack here. <clears throat> oh, yep. That definitely fixed the the rate problem. Let's just see what we get here. Stuff is still coming in. How far is it backed up? I, I wasn't able to look at the drowns to see what they were holding. I guess that's everything now. So that was about 20 or 30 minutes, maybe. I got two and a half stacks of flesh and four <clears throat> copper. Cool. All right, let's turn those into sticks and grab this out, and then I'll know what I have <clears throat> next time I do this. So, problem seems to be fixed. Should be able to get some more tridents now. And I'm thinking maybe if I go ahead and build that house that I was talking about, about halfway up, and then back it up over in that direction, say 25 ish blocks away from the portal, <clears throat> I bet that'll help even more. Now I've noticed that when there's a drown in there, if you're in the water, he'll come after you. Let's see if there's a drown in here right now. I don't see anybody right now. I'm going to swim to the top. I've got to be careful. I'm spinning around so I don't swim out the side. Okay, there's a drown. So, you can see when I'm in range, when he can spot me, he'll be coming after me. I just saw another one go in. See, he was coming up at me. 
and now he's coming down to me. But when I go down here, I'll just go stand. I'm gonna take the water down, and then I'm gonna back up. Nope, didn't mean to back up that far. And then he quit chasing me, and he gets just he falls. He he just sinks. So I think I've fixed the lighting problem, and I think I understand now what the spawning problem was. That I think the guys were just despawning before they got to the bottom because I was up so high. Here come, dang it! I'm gonna say here comes another one. But when I'm at the bottom, he's spawning near the top, and when I'm at the top they're spawning near the bottom so i think the thing to do is build a room halfway up and about 25 blocks away and that should make it pretty efficient now you see he's not coming after me i get in the water now he sees me I get out of the water now he doesn't see me i get in the water now he's coming after me and then out of the water he he just falls down so interesting mechanic on the drown guys. Alright, let's go swim with the dolphins. I'm so fast. Oh I'm gah. <laughs> you can't even control it, it's so fast. I might name tag some dolphins. Guess I better get rid of uh, the magma blocks if I'm gonna do that though. I was thinking about making a a automatic squid farm with axolotls oh and it turns out that my axolotls wouldn't have despawned because once they've been in a bucket i guess their status changed and and now they're your axolotls so why don't we go make a little let's make a baby axolotl that can be the thing to do for this episode i need to put up some junk first the glass monster drops in here now I've got a full stack of glow ink sacks now pumpkins foods let's put the coppers in there got a fish this brain those brands can go in there, although I seem to have plenty of them now. We got another Nautilus shell. Um, let's just cook. Oh, hey, let's just cook that wood. That's the kelp I got from last time. <clears throat> we can turn that into some blocks. Kelp doesn't seem to make as much XP as the cactus farm does. And when you cook a stack of cactus, you get a bunch of XP. And uh, I think I'm going to put this shield away. Actually, you know what? I haven't checked what a shield will enchant. Oh, it doesn't, I guess. Well, um, do I have an unbreaking book anywhere? Breaking through. Oh, that's on a trident. Um, unbreaking three book, anybody? Ending. Well, I think one of my villagers has unbreaking three. I'm gonna put mending on my shield for the cost of two. And then I won't have to be worrying about getting new shields anymore. And let's see, what else? What was I gonna do? Um, axolotls. So where did I put those guys? No. Did I put them over here? No. I have two axolotls in some buckets. I got bucket o axolotl. But 
not in here. I saw a goat horn there. If you know what to do with a goat horn, leave me a message because I have no idea what goat horns are for. Looks like it's bedtime for everybody. Upstairs, maybe? I might have left the axolotls in here. I did. Okay, axolotls. And let's let's make this just a little bit bigger. Not really the right place for an axolotl farm, but it'll do for now. Maybe later I can make an aquarium full of tropical fish and, and put it in my house. Look at the fishes. Okay, I got three by three water now, so you can go in there and you can go in there. And I think they're going to start swimming in circles. Okay, and I found out that the gold one is not the rare one, so I got a gold one and a brown one. The blue one is the rare one. It's like a 1 in 1200 chance, I think. So, I need to catch some tropical fish in a bucket. And let's go ahead and take a nap, because I don't want to mess with phantoms right now. Excuse me, sir, could you move for a second? Thank you. Just right click on that guy, he'll get up, then you can steal his bed for a second. Resets your spawn point though, so be aware of that. If you know a way to automate the breaking of um, obsidian, let me know about that in the comment. I'd like to set up an automatic obsidian farm. I think the... Oh, what's the guy you get with the wither star? The wither, I think. I think maybe he can break obsidian. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast. So fast. No tropical fish down here. But I do know where we can get some tropical fish. Oh, hey, dude. You want to come play? He's going to chase me. He's going to chase me all the way to the ocean. Gonna murder me an Enderman. Getting those pearls, don't you know? Three pearls. It's so noisy. I guess I haven't been close enough to the pumpkin and melon farms that they could be growing. So, okay, that's cool. I'm going to hop in my boat and go over to where I know there are some tropical fish. Or maybe I'll find some on the way. But I know we have uh, of the ocean biome in this direction that has some tropical fish. What is that place even called? Um, tropical ocean? Oh, that doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure I've seen some tropical fish that weren't over there. Maybe it was when I was in that lush cave. Maybe that's where I saw them. Oh, wait a minute. Those are tropical fishes. So let's do some tactical fishing. Caught you. Caught you. Switch them out. And let's catch that red one. him and let's see what else we have I know there's several different variants of tropical fish but I don't know what they are if you know how many different kinds of tropical fish there are leave me a message is that a puffer fish what is that bucket of puffer fish I don't want that Is that a puffer fish? <laughs> That's funny. 
they're they're not puffy and when you get close to them and they're puffy so much faster now all right did that i got the fishes so i think that's what i need to breed the axolotls and then they'll make a little baby axolotl and i've got like a one in twelve hundred ish chance of getting a blue one and i don't know if that matters i don't think the blue one does anything that the other ones don't do maybe it's just a challenge get a, a blue axolotl so here we go oh what what Okay, I've bred them. And, okay, they've made a baby axolotl. So I guess it's a 50-50 chance, roughly, of getting the color of one of the two that you bred. And then there's also a very tiny chance of getting um, the baby that's a blue one. And I haven't made a baby carrot. So here's some seeds. So how about we pick you up and pick you up. And and you get a seed. And, and, and you get a seed. Wait, is that what I breed parrots with? Dudes, where are you going? Come back. Stop. Stop. Don't Don't get on me. I don't want you on my shoulder. Just sit down. Okay, you, you stay. No, stay. Oh, stupid birds. Can't you breed parrots? You know what? Maybe you can't breed parrots. Okay, you're sitting. And if I jump, you'll dismount. Maybe you don't breed parrots. You have to go catch a new one. I think that was the thing. But we can breed cats. And I haven't done that yet. So I think for my next trick, I'll do some cat breeding. Alright, finally. Any fishes in here? Just some tropical fish. Okay, I'll grab some fishes. There's an unbreaking. Curse of vanishing. Hmm, so if I die, it disappears. I need an unbreaking three for my shield. But uh, are you guys ready to breed again yet? Because I heard it's only like a one minute cooldown. No, nope, they're not ready. Uh oh, sneeze. <laughs> every time every time I start a video I'm gonna sneeze um so fishes let's get some fishes and make a baby cat because I haven't done that yet there's the fishes stand up follow me I'm Siamese this one's I don't know what that is you follow me over here And we will make a baby cat. You, one for you. Bam. Baby Siamese cat. And I'm going to sit that one down. Let's see if we can find an unbreaking three guy. No. What about you? You know what, this might be easier when they're sleeping. I think I'll wait till they're sleeping. And I won't be getting them all mixed up. But I need to put these axolotl fishes back upstairs. I'll just leave those up here. And I'll leave some regular fishes up here in case there's a cat upstairs that I want to catch. 
And how about we make a better cocoa farm? A bigger cocoa farm. I'll chop down this tree. Yeah, I got sinus drainage. I'm probably dying. Okay. Pop up on the tree. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet. But I know I need to do that. And I think this will still work. That, that'll still push all of those, right? Okay, the bottom ones will still push. Uh-oh. Oh, I missed. Um, oops. Uh-oh. I heard a pillager. All right, we might just do a pillage raid then. Okay. Unscripted, totally did not know that was going to happen. But here we go. Shoot these guys, I get XP from them. their emeralds and things. One more somewhere. Oh, the bell. The bell is so noisy. Stop ringing the dang bell. Why? All right, I'm sorry. We gotta turn that down. Options, uh, music, sound. Um, now they stop. Okay. Why is that guy glowing? That happened last time. There was a raid too, except there was a whole bunch of guys glowing. Get you. Oh, I missed. So this time I'm going to try to avoid getting my Enderman shot at. Let's see if I get one of the one of the guys back over in that area where my pointer is, then they'll try to shoot at me, try to shoot through the Enderman, and then he will teleport away. And we don't want that. I missed. What? Who shot me? Was him. We got another one somewhere. Oh, so I can kind of lead these guys into the water by ow, moving around. And as I move, they'll try to follow me until they end up in the water path. That wasn't far enough. I was trying to get the sniper achievement. Usually I do that from a tall tower. Dropping in. Oh, I was looking for you. Got him, coach.
probably I'll finish this raid and then do a bunch of trading off camera. Because I kind of depleted my stack of emeralds. I had the whole bottom row of the chest full of emeralds and and now I'm down to not so many. Oh hey pig. You like to dance? I took your gold, haha. -ha. It's a witch. It's a wish. Got the big cow dude. You know, sometimes that cow dude has a rider. And sometimes he has not a rider. Every time you hit the cow, dude, um, the raid progress bar up there drops a lot. Okay, got another one somewhere. The witch. I hear a witch. Is the witch? Where's the witch? What? The witch is in the lava. Y'all see that, right? That witch is in the lava. And now, out of the lava. That's very strange. And that reminds me, I saw one time a way to get infinite healing potions. Somebody did a video on that and they, oh lord, run away, run away. And they were using um, witches and snow golems. And so the witch would throw potions at the snow golem and the snow golem would shoot back at the witch and in between the two were um, well they had uh, a hopper and so when the witch would throw the potion uh, I think they put a cobweb in between them so the potion would get stuck in the cobweb and then the hopper would collect it when it finally fell through the cobweb. I don't know if that still works, but if it does, I probably should ought to build that. So somebody remind me, give me a call and, and remind me to do that offline. Need to check on that, see if that's still a thing. That one, and there's one. Okay, I think one more wave, maybe. I built this little extension here where I can run back here and try to escape from the Vectors. Coming from that way this time. There's the bad one. Really need for them to just all jump in the water. The cow guy has a rider this time. At this point, I've got plenty of saddles. More than I'm ever going to use, I think. Uh oh, uh oh. Is this far away? Yeah, I think they can't get me from back here. 
Oh. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, crap. Um, I don't have a boat. Okay. That could have been bad. The Vex hits hard. Right, am I good yet? I think I can get up here safely fish got him and if I look right over this corner I should be able to, to shoot those guys without getting hit so this is the droopy pond raid farm technique and I have massacred another raid and the villagers will be super happy to see me now. So, did that. And you saw it. It was unscripted, unplanned, and, and totally legitimate. But I think that's going to be all for this one. So I'm going to do some trading offline. And maybe finish fixing that new layer of the cocoa farm. And, and I guess I'll see you next time. So, leave me a message. And... Uh, let me know what you think of it. What the heck? Did the cow dude break the trees over there or what? Because I didn't do that. That's what happened. Well, anyway, leave me a message. Tell me what you think about it. And I'll see you next time. Droopy Pond signing off.